hello everyone welcome back to my channel we are going to be making this beautiful bow today it is one of those bows that only uses two small pieces of ribbon yet it looks like it uses loads more it is such a gorgeous design i absolutely love this one i made this one using a pale blue ribbon and i used a coordinating stripe ribbon you could use glitter you could use like a blue glitter or something in the middle or a different color ribbon or glitter it doesn't have to be matching but i'm going to show you what it looks like all in one color so i'm going to be using baby pink with a matching one centimeter wide to wrap the centers just to show you that sometimes less is more and this bow looks gorgeous in all one color so that is what i'm going to show you today so obviously only two small pieces of ribbon here cut and this is four centimeters wide or one and a half inch wide and you will need two pieces cut to 23 centimeters in length or just over nine inches in length and that is two pieces i don't bother cutting my one centimeter wide ribbon just yet i will cut this as i need it for the centers but you will need an either like i said a matching ribbon to wrap around the centers or whichever you prefer to use so first of all we're going to heat seal the raw edges so using my lighter in the blue part of the flame i'm just going to run it along these raw edges and that will prevent any frying and get rid of any existing frays. And next we're going to measure from the right side. It don't matter, you can do it from the left, but I just do it from the right hand side to eight centimeters or just over three inches. And then I'm just going to pop a pin in And then I've got a needle here threaded with some extra strong thread and I've popped a knot in the end. And I'm just going to fold it where that pin is so I can see a straight line all the way across. And then I can then remove that pin because I can now see this by eye. And I'm going to do six stitches across here to form a pinch. So I start around sort of a couple of millimeters from that first edge one, two, three, four, five, six. So you come out a couple of millimeters from the other end. Now I do my stitches by eye. To do this, obviously half of six is three. So I kind of visualize where the center is and I aim for one, two, three on this half and then one, two, three on the second half mirrored. So you get nice, even stitches across that pinch. And then I'm pulling it all the way through to the knot. And then I'm going to pull it tight to form that pinch. And then wrap that around that middle a couple of times. And then on the underside, just pull it tight and just go through catching a little bit of the ribbon I'm going to go through once and this time I'm not going to pull it completely tight I'm going to go through this loose loop once or twice and that will form a knot so I can trim off the excess thread so you've got that pinch in there now I'm going to repeat that with our second piece now so now we have our two pieces cinched in the middle and this one I've already wrapped the center if you are working step by step along with this video, you can double tap the left to go back 10 seconds, double tap the right to go forward 10 seconds. That's how most devices work anyway. So if you need to go back, you can. If you need to pause it, you can. So you can work along with this tutorial. So to wrap the center, taking my one centimeter wide ribbon, I'm keeping it on the reel. I'm going to heat seal this loose end and I'm going to start on the end first. I'm going to place a little bit of glue on the end, not too much, just a little bit. And then picking this ribbon up, I'm going to start on the underside. 
So starting on the underside, sticking it straight centrally across that cinch. And then I'm going to start bringing it round to the front. I'm going to place a little bit of glue on this front side just to hold it in place and make sure that the stitch part keeps covered. And then continuing to wrap it around. Again, I'm just going to put another dot of glue, just very small amounts, not too much. And then on this second go around, I'm not going to put any glue at the top. I'm going to leave it till the last bit. So I'm now back to the underside. I'm going to trim off where I need it. Just move my ribbon out of the way. Heat seal the raw edge, being careful not to singe any of your other ribbon. And then finishing off this last end by placing some more hot glue, but not too much because you don't want it to seep out and show. And gently finish off that last end. A little bit seeping out, but it's not too bad. So that's the underside and that is the top side. Like that. So we've got our two little cinches in there now and wrapped the centers. Going back to our first piece again, or any piece, it don't matter which one. And I've got a couple of fabric clips here. If you've got hair clips, you can use hair clips, but I like to use these fabric clips. I will link everything that I use in this tutorial in the description below. So you can check those out, the ribbon, the clips, everything that I use. So now taking my first piece, holding it upside down. So I've got the shorter part at the top and the longer tail at the bottom. Taking this top piece now, and I'm going to bring this over diagonally to the left. So you bring this bow part over diagonally. I'll just show you that again. So I've got my shorter piece at the top, longer piece at the bottom, grabbing the top, folding it over diagonally. And this piece here should be just inside over the top of this part of the ribbon. If you pull it too tight, you'll end up with too much on this side of the bow. So you want it about there like that. And then you're going to fold that back and you're going to meet this corner with this corner. So bring this back and meet this corner with this corner here. And this raw edge is in line with this piece of ribbon. So it should look like that. And to check that you've got the angle right, the piece that you can see here at the back, it should be crossed over centrally to the bow. So when you flatten the bow, as you can see, you can move it, you can slide it up and down so that the crossover part is central to this middle. So you know that that is a nice, even angle. Once you've got that in place, you can use one of your fabric clips or a hair clip, whichever you're using, and just pop it on that corner with all of this in line like that. And then I'm just going to flip this upside down now. So my corner bow is at the bottom and take this last edge, which is now out to the right. And we're going to fold this back and we're going to meet the top edges all up and this corner again with this corner here. So I'm just gonna remove this clip now, line up all of those corners and edges, and then re-clip it in place. So that is the first half complete. I'm going to repeat that with my second piece now. So flipping it over so that the underside of my singe part is facing towards me and the shorter end is at the top holding just below the singe part and I'm going to bring it over diagonal so you reveal the bow and this is just in line with the edge of the ribbon and then I'm going to bring this part back and line this corner up with that corner and just check that this right angle here where the ribbon overlaps is central to the middle which it is 
and then I'm going to pop my clip on there to hold that part in place and I'm going to flip it to the side again so my corner bow is at the bottom and I'm taking this long tail end now and again folding it back to line up all of this top edge and this corner with these corners. Keeping it pinched with my thumb and finger whilst I remove the clip and then re-clip those in place. So we've got our two halves now exactly the same and we're ready to now stitch another cinch across the bottom. We've taken my needle and thread again, which has got a knot in the end. I've taken one of the halves. Again, we're going to do six stitches. Again, I do this by eye. So imagine this being the center. If you want, you could fold it, give it a little squeeze so you can see the center and then you'll want one, two, three, one, two, three. So six stitches all together, three either side of the center. So going in through the top for my first stitch, catching both of those layers, pull it all the way through to the knot. And then my second stitch, I'm gonna come back through and catch that middle corner as well. So you've got three layers. So that is my second stitch. And then my third stitch. And now we're going to mirror these stitches. So the fourth one is going to come up the other side. So visually, this was the center. So that's the fourth stitch, fifth stitch. And I'm just gonna keep this pinched with my thumb and finger now to remove this clip. Coming up through the bottom for our last stitch catching those two corners and you want to catch the corner fold of that bow as well like that so I've caught the two layers underneath and then this layer and the layer of the fold of the bow as well if that makes sense and now I'm going to pull this tight to form my cinch and then I'm going to go through catching a couple of layers of the last corner and then on this second go in I'm going to not pull it completely tight and go through that loose loop a couple of times to form a knot and then trim off the excess thread and then I'm just going to pop the knot in here ready to sew the other half of my bow Trim off the long tail. So that is the first half of the bow. So I'm now going to repeat those exact stitches on the other half, six stitches, three on either side of the center. So now we have our two halves and we can now join these two together in the center. So using my hot glue gun, placing some glue along the center and then bringing these two halves in together. And then I will use my one centimeter wide ribbon again. And I'm using these 45 millimeter double prong clips today. And I like to line my clips. That is optional, you don't have to, but that is something that I like to do. So I'm just gonna heat seal the end again, and then place some hot glue around an inch and a half along that end. Place it on the underside of the clip, push it into the pinch part and over the top. And then I can see where to trim the rest off. 
deep sealable edge again. And then just finish off by placing some glue on this last end because this will hold both of those sides together through that gap. So I've got this nice lined hair clip now to match my bow. I'm going to place some glue now on the front part of the clip, not the pinch part, and place that on the underside of my hair bow. Grabbing my one centimetre wide ribbon again, and this time we're going to wrap the centre of the main part of the bow. So again, heat seal the raw end, pop a little bit of glue on that end. I'm going to start on the underside of my hair clip, central to the hair bow, and then start bringing it around the centre. Again, on the first go round, I'm going to place a little bit of glue on the top just to cover the join and make sure that keeps covered. I'm going to go around for the second time, so under the clip again, round for the second time, trim off where we need it, heat seal the raw edge. And placing some glue along the end, not too thickly. I'm just using the nozzle to spread it a little bit and then finish off on the underside of that hair clip. And then you can just make sure your bow is a nice shape, just reshape it a little bit if needed. It shouldn't need too much fluffing about. And isn't that gorgeous, all in one colour? So simple and yet so beautiful. So there's the blue one again, so you can see what it looks like with a different centre. They are such pretty styles. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have got any questions, you can pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye.